In this tutorial, I'll show you exactly how to create a shared mailbox in Microsoft 365. I'll show you how to add it for Outlook for the web, just like this one here, hello at chipperini.co. I'll show you how to add it for Windows. So here, Outlook for Windows, here's the shared mailbox, and how to add it for Outlook for the Mac. Here's the shared mailbox. And as a bonus, I'll show you how to add a shared calendar to Outlook. If you know you already need a shared mailbox in Microsoft 365, this video is for you. Otherwise, if you're not sure that you need a shared mailbox versus a group mailbox, which appear down here, then probably watch one of my videos up here on the screen or in the description to help you decide which one you need. Okay, we're going to get started in Microsoft's Admin Center. Okay, so here from the homepage, go down to Teams and Groups, and then click on Shared Mailboxes. So here, this just shows you a list of any shared mailboxes that you do have, such as this one that I've already made for this example. Now, a little better way to see this actually is to go to the Exchange Admin Center. And in this Admin Center, go to Recipients and click Mailboxes. And here you'll actually get a nice overview of all the mailboxes that you have. So the personal user mailboxes, which are identified as user mailbox. And as you see, the shared one here is just a shared mailbox. So you can see, first of all, if you have any shared mailboxes on your account. Okay, so this is an example. We'll go ahead and create one just like this. Okay, so what we want to do is click Add a Shared Mailbox, and we're here in the Exchange Admin Center. You can do the same thing in the regular Admin Center here, but in Exchange, it just has a couple more settings, which I'll point out. So click Add a Shared Mailbox. So right away, this playman, this is just a name that others will see. So in this case, we'll make one for, you know, maybe for our billing department. So Again, it's for the company, so we'll call this, you know, we're going to use this to send external emails. So when others outside our business get this, we want them to see our business name and they'll say Apex One Tech Billing. And the address will be just billing. Usually you'll just select your default domain here that you will have, just one. In my case, I have a unique one that I need to choose here. And you might choose other aliases. So this is, uh, maybe you have one that's called bills. So in case someone, instead of emailing you at billing at your domain.com, maybe they email you at bills at your domain.com instead by accident. So instead of that email just disappearing and not being delivered, if you add it as an alias, you'll still receive that email in that same shared mailbox. So we'll go ahead and add that one. You, you may add other ones later as well. Okay. So we click create and now it's making that shared mailbox. Okay, so it's made, it's just telling us it might be a couple minutes before we can add users for it. You can go ahead and click here if you need more information on how to use a shared mailbox. We'll go ahead and close this and I'll just show you from scratch how to add more users to it. So here we have the one we just made. Let's just click on it. And again, we're not in the Exchange Admin Center. Okay, so if we go into the settings, we can see the alias that we made, the name of the accounts, which will again appear externally, and the email address, the main email address here. So what we can do here is we can go ahead and add owners and members under delegation. So as you can see, send as, you'll be able to send as this email address, okay? So maybe for here, I want to add a team member. Let's go ahead, we'll add Mary on here. Okay, so they'll be able, they're a delegate, they can send from this email address. Okay, let's go back now. Let's also add, I'm going to add myself with full access permission. And we just save and confirm. Again, it's, it's telling you it might take up to five minutes for this to propagate throughout the system. And other things you can do here is under other, if for whatever reason, you know, you made this, you actually want to convert it back to a regular mailbox and assign it to a specific user, you can do that by clicking convert to regular mailbox. But we want to keep this, if we need automatic replies, we can set this here as well. Now let's take a look at this from the regular admin center. So here we are again under teams and groups, shared mailboxes, we'll refresh and we should see our new one that we just made. So let's click on here. Similar settings, just looks a little bit different. You can see your email addresses again. 
So here, if I click edit, now, because my default domain is chipruni.co, it actually adds that as well, just FYI. But you can add more aliases here and configure more domains if you need to. And you can also select, for example, if I needed this as my default, the one, the default email address that the shared mailbox is sending from, that others will see, then you want to change it to the primary email address. In my case, when I email from this shared mailbox, I want this email to be shown to others. So I'm going to leave it as is. Some settings you want to change, so sent items are currently not copied to the mailbox. I'll say you want them copied so that when you're looking at this in the shared mailbox, you can see which items were sent. So I will select both of these, and that way that anyone that has access to the shared mailbox, they can see, also see a history of what's been sent. Okay, and then here under members, and it's kind of together with manage mailbox permissions, this more closely relates to the settings in the Exchange Admin Center. So for example, the one the read and manage permissions, this should be me here, and then my team members send that permissions, we added him here. However, really the best way I would say is to go here to members, right? And who can add this to their shared mailbox, like to see it in their account? Well, really you want to add them here. This is more, I'll say the better way to add this. So let's go ahead and add Mary on here as well. All right, let's say both of us do the billing. Great, and now read and manage permissions, both of us have that. And also, we want to go ahead and click here, send as permissions. And again, it just says that we can send as this email address, right? So I want to be able to do that as well, so I'll add myself. Okay, and that's about it. Now let me show you how this works and what it looks like in Outlook. So first, let's go, you can always type in again office.com and then go to Outlook or outlook.office.com will get you directly here. So currently, as you see, we don't have anything here. Our shell mailbox is not appearing here. Uh, we only have the one we already had. So even if I refresh, so this shows me my, my email address and the group email addresses that I have. And again, here, here's the only shared mailbox we have. So in order to add one, here under folders, so this is again Outlook on the web, it's a little bit different everywhere. So Outlook on the web, just right click here and you want to say add shared folder or mailbox. Okay, here just start typing the name of the shared account. And as you see, here it pops up, so I'm just going to click on it and click add. Here's our new shared mailbox, it's loading, I'll close this one. And as you see, it looks almost just like yours, right? Same as yours, all your inbox, your sent items, inbox drafts, it has all that good stuff. So obviously we don't have any emails here, but let's go ahead and send a new email. Okay, so right now it's, as you see, it's showing my default, my personal work email address here from and if you can't see this, go to Options and make sure you have this selected, Show From. All right, so now we'll be able to say, okay, let's click Other Email Address. And again, start typing here, billing at apex1tech.com. It pops up, select it. And if it doesn't pop up, just type in the full address. And let's just send a test email. I can actually just send it to myself. Ideally, test it, send it to an external email outside your organization, like your personal email address. And this will just be test one. And let's click send. So if you do have problems and you didn't enable the permissions to, be, to have send as permissions, it'll tell you, hey, you don't have permissions to do this. So just make sure, just like I showed earlier, set those permissions correctly. Okay, so here in my personal email, personal work email, I got that email address from, as you can see, Apex One Tech Billing. So it sh shows the name and it'll show the email address as well. And then also if we go to the shared mailbox, we go to send items, right? So Marion, who's part of this billing team or shared mailbox that I created, as you can see, he can see any sent emails, even though that he didn't make them, they appear here. And that's, again, that was that setting that had to be enabled. 
Now I'll show you how to add this shared mailbox in Outlook for Windows. And this is also, by the way, the new preview Outlook. Okay, you see this toggle on the top right is turned on. So here, right, these are the same folders for my work email address, a personal work email address. And for the shared one, they appear here in this section. So the existing one is here, but if you don't have any, you won't even have this section. So you'll want to click on your email address, right click, secondary click, and click add shared folder or mailbox. So similar as onto the web, you start typing the email address. So billing at apex one, there we go, add, and now there it is. It's just loading up the folders, but the same thing. Let's go sense items. We should see that same email that we already sent. Okay, and there it is. So everything else here remains the same. And finally, to add the shared mailbox in Outlook for Mac, uh, it's quite a bit different. So we have here my regular email address. This is the shared mailbox that previously I showed you. Now to add this, you don't really right click anywhere here. Well, you do, you can, you can click on your address or yeah, and then go to account settings. You actually want to hit here at the bottom left, the plus sign and either one on your account, you want to open a shared mailbox. So similarly, we start typing the email address and there it is already. Let's click add. It's checking that we have the correct permissions and we can close this. And you see here we have Apex One tag billing, same thing, inbox, sent, there's the email address. And on the Mac to send a new email, you just click new email. And this one's actually smart enough to know that if you're in this shared mailbox, it automatically selects the correct from address and you're good to go. And then finally, the last thing, like I said, the shared calendar. So yes, when you make a shared mailbox, you do have a shared calendar. You just have to enable it. Let's go to Outlook for the web. Click on the calendar here. And first of all, it might appear here depending on how you added your shared mailbox. So you can click show all and see if it appears anywhere here. So as you see, I do have the first one that I showed you, the hello shared mailbox added here and is enabled. So what we want to do here is just click add calendar and then click add from directory, choose your own account here first and now start typing in that shared email address. So here it is, billing, Apex One Tech billing where do you want to add it? Kind of like which section do we want to appear under? It's not really a people's calendar, so I'll put in other calendars and click add. And it says down here, it's been added. So we can close this. It's automatically enabled. So if you don't want to see it, right now there's no events here, but if you don't want to see, you can turn it off. And there you go. If you want to add an event and you have the permissions, if you can send on behalf of the shared mailbox, you can also add a new event for that shared mailbox. So again, because I had that calendar selected, it's automatically here. But if I didn't, you see the other shared mailboxes here and my personal calendar is here as well. So you can create an event for that entire group, whoever you have in the shared mailbox. And that's all, you have a shared mailbox without having to buy additional licenses. You can add as many as you need to, add whichever team members you need to. So if this video was helpful to you, you learned something new, please like the video, subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching. Take care.